Hey, travel buddies! If you come to Kyoto, you've got to allocate one day to wear a formal kimono. Experience kaiseki in kimono. Visit top attractions during both day and night in kimono, and take lots of stunning photos in kimono. Firstly, let's go get dressed. We walk to the kimono rental shop near our hotel. We randomly chose this shop. There are nine types of female kimono, but I won't delve into it. The shop owner told me I only needed to choose between a short sleeve or a long sleeve one. The long sleeve kimono, called a furiso day, it is a formal type of kimono, and costs two to three times as much as the short sleeved version to rent. I chose the furiso day since trips to Kyoto aren't an everyday thing for me. There are so many choices. A professional kimono dresser is assisting me with putting it on. After several layers of undershirts and waistbands, I finally wore the furiso day. Mom chose this pattern for me, saying it would photograph well. Then it is time for my hair. Another professional, a kimono hairdresser, styled my hair. She is struggling to create the hairstyle I wanted because my hair is quite thin. After the hair was done, she said she was so nervous due to a camera filming her. Oh, I'm sorry. I had applied my makeup at the hotel, as makeup services are not usually included. Normally, we wear the kimono for the whole day until 6 p.m., which costs around $200. Everything must be returned to the shop by then. Wow, I look like a different person. We spent 1.5 hours here. By the way, there are many kimono shops in Kyoto, and they offer similar services, but the price may vary. Despite its beauty, the kimono feels heavy. The belts are really tight. In a kimono, I have to keep smiling and keep my posture nice and straight, which is getting pretty tiring. I wonder if I can keep this up all day. Yet the first challenge is to eat. This restaurant is called Kozo En, serving traditional Kyoto tofu kaiseki. It's a quite popular restaurant, but we didn't have to make an appointment to go in. Wow, the restaurant's decoration screams Kyoto. It feels like I've traveled back to ancient Kyoto again. They make various tofu dishes. It's delicious, but I didn't have much. Because of the tight belts, our first destination is Kiyomizu Temple, about two kilometers away from hotel. We could have walked, but I insisted on taking a taxi because I'm wearing a heavy kimono. To access the temple, we need to walk through a street called Kiyomizu Zaka. Zaka means slope. There are many interesting shops along the street. Today is beautifully sunny, following two consecutive days of rain. The main goal of strolling through the top attractions today is to take photos while dressed in a kimono. Let's take a photo on these stairs. They are facing the Kiyomizu Zaka. In the meantime, we are appreciating the temple. Kiyomizu Temple is the most celebrated temples of Japan. It attracts approximately 4.5 million visitors each year. Kiyomizu means pure water.
It was founded in the 8th century on the side of Ottawa waterfall in the wooded hills, east of Kyoto, deriving its name from the four's pure waters. Kiyomizu Temple is best known for its wooden stage that juts out from its main hall. It was built in 11th century over a valley where ancient Japanese thought it was a paradise. The stage was made of wood of zelkova trees, entirely without nails or screws, and is supported by only 18 wooden pillars. It looks unstable to me. How could it be stable without nails and screws? But who am I to judge? It stood there for 400 years already. I'm wondering, what wood do we use nowadays to build houses? From the stage, the view is absolutely stunning. Look at the Kyoto city in the distance. The main hall is mainly used for worship. Kiyomizu Temple is a Buddhist temple. The goddess canon, a statue of the eleven faces, thousand arms, is enshrined here. We could see the Otowa waterfall from up here. To reach it, we have to go down to the base of the hill. Its waters are divided into three separate streams. People use cups attached to long poles to drink from them. The first dream means longevity, the second means success at school, and the third one means a fortunate love life. However, drinking from all three streams is considered greedy and you will end up getting nothing. If you are tired and thirsty, you can come and sit in a tea house here, not far from Otowa waterfall. The Kiyomitsu Temple is popular for a reason. I almost forgot I am in a kimono. There are lots of things to see. We spent three hours here. Next stop is Fushimi Inali Shrine, 4.5 kilometers away from Kiyomizu Temple. We sent mom back to hotel as she is extremely exhausted. Fushimi Inali Shrine is an important Shin Shrine in southern Kyoto. It is one of the Japan's oldest shrines. The shrine is linked to a legend where a rice cake transformed into a swan leading to rice growth on Mount Inali. It is famous for its 10,000 vermilion Tory gates. Each Tory gate was donated by individuals and companies. The donation amount starts around $3,000 for a smaller gate and increases to over $7,000 for a large gate. Hello. 
we didn't finish the Tory Gate Cover Hiking Trail. It's also hard to snap a photo without anyone else in the shot. Fushimi Inari Shrine is another place where you can take many stunning photos. We only spent one hour here as it's getting late. Taking a taxi back, we decided to take more photos in Yasaka Shrine, near our hotel. The lighting during sunset is the best for photography. You will see why later. To learn about Yasaka Shrine, check out the video in the top right corner of the screen. We visit here on our first day of arrival. Look at the sun hanging there. It's like a natural light for photography. After snapping pictures at Yasaka Shrine, we headed to Hanamikoji Street. I couldn't pass up the chance for more stunning photos while still dressed in this lovely kimono. How could I keep the kimono until so late? Actually, the shop owner is from the same city where I was born, so he kindly allowed me to keep the kimono until the next day without any extra charge. What a stroke of luck! Hanamikoji Street at night is another great spot for photos in a kimono. I apologize that you see a lot of me in this video, but you see, the combination of a kimono and a kyoto in one frame, what story do you think that tells? Tomorrow, the last day in Kyoto, we're going to Hachiyama Touristy District in the western outskirts of Kyoto and we'll spend the whole day there. I will see you then.